Hello and thank you for joining us on today's video here in Blackpool. We are doing Ride the Lights, which is a very special video for the channel. Um, we are with Theo. There he is. Hello. Hello. Safety first with your helmet today. Yeah. So this is the second time we have ever done this. We did do it last year when Theo was three. Um, we didn't obviously do it then. Uh, but we're going to be doing it this year on the channel. This is what we're going to be riding. There's my bike and there is Theo's trailer. <laughs> he just about fits in it. But next year we're going to be doing something completely different. Um, we're going to have him riding his own bike, aren't we? So what we're going to be doing, we're going to ride all the way to the other side, which is Bispam, because we're currently at Squires Gate or Stargate. Um, last year it took us two hours to do the whole thing, which really surprised me. Um, so I'd imagine it takes just a bit of the same again. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the other side then we're going to start properly doing the vlog from there then to here uh, with this and a front view camera on the bike so we're going to get the best of both worlds uh, we're going to get to the other side hopefully by the time we get there it'll be a lot more darker the lights are on but you can hardly see them um, and you might be in for a treat because two things one you see amazing things going around here last time i saw dodgems riding around with lights on it was amazing and the other thing is, uh, Pleasure Beach opened their gate so you can cycle through it. Um, I'm hoping that is the case this year and we'll get complete full POV of that experience, which is a, a very spectacular experience. Uh, there is a tram on its way around to us. <laughs> we're not going on that. Um, it's stopping. Uh, we're going to head down to the other side now. Uh, we'll get you some footage between here and there of our cycle, but very sped up. Uh, and then we're going to start the vlog properly from Bispen down there. surprise you're having there'll be plenty more
happy uh, after that. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of footage there. Uh, and a few different, I don't know if you spotted any, a few different little uh, types of vehicles traveling around, especially that like Postman Pat one. I did spot the Dodgems go the other way as well, so that was good. I was like sweating. We did that in 50 minutes. 50, 5 out. Um, which is really good time because. We were 15 minutes yet to Ria. Yeah, and you were alright because you were in the back, weren't you? Yeah. So, yeah. So, worst part about it is it's all uphill here and through winds because the wind is actually going south slightly. It's from behind, I can feel it. Oh, air uh, pass, it's yeah. see, but it's more south. Are you riding it then? Yeah. Can I get in the back and you ride? Um, Ain't gonna happen, is it? Yeah, you can do that. Right, so now we're gonna start the vlog properly. So we're gonna head the other way. Uh, the sun is setting, so it's not quite dark yet. However, you can see the illuminations so much better now. Um, so yeah, so we're now in Bispam. Uh, oh, I can't remember how many miles it is to get here. Uh, it's quite a lot. Uh, a bit of insight for uh, Ride the Lights. Uh, it's completely free to do. It's been going for quite a few ta uh, years now. And there's no age restriction. There's, there's babies uh, being trailed along on back of bikes, on trailers. Uh, you don't necessarily need a bike. Uh, bike is obviously what it's for, but people are using different things. Uh, there's a few scooters around, and I've seen a shop mobility scooter as well, as well as a skateboard. So you can pretty much bring anything with you. Um, so obviously, it's, it's, it's this time of year, every Tuesday, last Tuesday of August every year they do this. Obviously check, visit Blackpool website for details. Uh, obviously the next one's going to be next year now. Uh, I think Run the Lights is on uh, on the Wednesday, but obviously that'll be even gone by the time the vlog goes out. Um, yeah, get down here. It's really good to do. Uh, if you're local, especially like I am, uh, it's great to do this. And we're going to do it again next year. So, we're going to head off now. We're going to go to do the Ride the Lights and vlog it on the way down. Shall we get going then? Yeah. I'm, I'm going in the back, yeah? You're, you're cycling. Yeah? Mm -hmm. mm, didn't think so. See you in a bit. Alright, so here we go. So this could be the start, finish or halfway point to your journey. So obviously it's our halfway point. But there is a lot you can be doing here at the halfway point. Oh, slight hill. You've got a kebab house, a chippy. There is a shop, it's closed. <laughs> a cafe. So plenty of places to get drinks. Very busy there. And also the old tram station. Um, as well, and obviously there's an arcade there too. Coming into their peak season for illuminations as well, that arcade. Right. Now you do have to abide by zebra crossings and traffic lights, although you don't need to on that one because, oh, I'm exhausted. Hey, there's nothing, there's another shop there. Hey, you don't actually have to, there's nothing to stop for. This one holds the best illuminations as well. As you can see, to our side. Yeah. See a uh, newly printed tram. It's really good, that. We are going to vlog the illuminations in September to give you an insight of what 2019 has. They generally change every year. Oh. One of Theo's favorites is the Haunted Hotel, which is this one here. Uh, not ready yet by the looks of it. Illumination switch on is this Friday. This is the 30th. Which is the day this vlog comes out. And then it's on for two months. 
until the first Sunday in November, which I think is the third or the fourth, I'm not sure. Uh, but like I say, we are going to do a um, illumination vlog. And then later in the year, in October, we're going to do a family version. So, if you're not subscribed, do so. Uh -oh. That was tight. Now, we've got to remember, I want a trailer. There he is. So, I have to be careful of my whip. I've already mounted the curb once with his wheels. And there's loads of different types of uh, cyclists. You've got young, old, experienced. And it is notoriously busy. First week. And then the October half term is one of the busiest weeks in Blackpool alone. No matter where you go, it's busy. So it's a pleasure beach, Blackpool Tower, the arcades, one half of these. Or even just to the shops. Right. There's always someone with music. Oh, another one. The sun has set. The lights are at the best. Well, maybe a bit later. Oh, on the other side of here is a hill down. I am looking forward to that. Some well illuminated bikes there. Right, so exhausting. <laughs> Can't see him. Retro tram, the heritage. Oh, it's something else. <laughs> you do see some. Uh, interesting things on here <laughs> right here we go we're coming to the downhill so enjoy some bike pov from the front of the bike Zebra crossing. Managed to escape that one.
notorious roundabout there's so much history with this roundabout uh, it's currently showing the circus 250 which was displayed last year uh, it was the circus's 250 years anniversary circuses uh, there has been a lot of history there was which was my favorite the uh, horses the carousel and then replacing that if I remember rightly was the um, space ships um, and there's been a few other, I'm going to say boring ones. Uh, but last year's was really good, uh, like a circus tent. Um, they've not got the same ones up this year, they've just had the tent, well, shown the 250. Obviously it's not 250 this year. So it's a shame they haven't impl implemented it with the circus in Blackpool. Never mind. Right, a little uphill. Uh, these, um, I don't know if these are the same, were my favourite lights. Oh, what's this? <laughs> I think that was resembling the big dipper car. That was really good. It's even got the blue and black on it from uh, previous. Oh, it's exhausting. We've stopped once on the way. We stopped at North Pier, which was, I think, the halfway point. It doesn't feel like the halfway point. Hey! Log flume car. Amazing. Oh. Right. There's a spaceman. Concord. Now, I mentioned before that you don't necessarily need a bike, and we did see shop mobility scooters. I have pulled in because my oh, legs are aching. Uh, and these went past us, so I thought we would uh, catch up. Why not, eh? He's going faster than me now. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, I said you have to abide by traffic lights. You do. <sighs> Get a little rest, though. Oh, some naughties. Although they have passed, so I suppose. Right, let's move on. Right. <sighs> I need sugar. My hand's shaking. <laughs> You're right, pal. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you're gonna be on YouTube. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I may as well uh, shout it out. Oh, yes, I need. Uh, we're gonna stop at the uh, Tower Headland opposite the tower. For a little rest. I didn't bring any sugary snacks. What's that about? I brought biscuits. Uh, if you know me, I like my biscuits. I've got chocolate biscuits. Oh, he's got a bright light. Like a lighthouse. Oh, right, these lights here are um, lights from uh, the, oh, the, the dates around somewhere. It's like 1901 or something. I might be wrong. I certainly find the date. You can correct me if you're wrong, but it's, it's something ridiculously long time ago. <sighs> this, uh, uh, I'm sure it doesn't give it justice, but if you look at them, you think, wow, how old they are and how static they are. It's amazing. 
Another red light coming up. Look at the backlog. See, there you go, some scooters. A little bit of North Pier. Ah, so the tower's not completely lit. I know they're doing work on the tower ready for Friday. So it's obviously not ready to go. But they have got the tower tower top lit, which is good. Oh, look at that. Wheelchair. See, anyone can do this. Absolutely anyone. Uh, right. There was biscuits. He's eating them. I hope he's not eating them all. It's really busy on here. I've got to be careful. Also, the angle's wrong. There we go. <laughs> Very busy. It's one of the narrow areas of the track. Also one of the most dangerous areas due to the trams and people do cycle on that tram track to the side. And um, there's a tram coming one way and a tram coming the other. But you get caught up in that. Ouch. There, we're at North Pier now. Another red light. Shimmy my in. That tram had a mare getting past the Metropole. Oh, the red lights! No one's waiting. And there's no there's no pedestrians crossing, so it's fine. Here he is, he's having a mare. Do you know what? I do miss these trams. And you would have seen the uh, illuminated train tram before. Uh, we got that in our one of our photos as well. And then there's the boat tram. Oh, it looks like one side of the tower is lit. All right, we're going to try and break away now as we're close to the tower headlands. But as you can see, it's a little bit carnage. However, I see a gap. I am going to go for it. Hey. There we go. Oops. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, right. We'll see you in a minute. Well, here we are. We're now at the Tower Headlands. Oh. Can't fully get on the headlands because they're setting the stage up for the lights which on night. Oh absolutely sweating. You alright? You loving it? No. Why not? What? You don't like it? Are you enjoying the journey? Are you, do you like the bike? Yeah. I thought you wasn't enjoying it then. Right. We're going to have a quick drink and some biscuits or whatever's left of them. So they do have a few little things here. Yeah, they've got a bike repair centre if you need it. You can also buy merchandise as well. And then the local radio stations here too. Nice little setting. The heart switched on. I'll try and get that to focus. If you get the chance to see George S. Relive, you take Maybe it. Not. He is great. There goes Hold My Girl on Total Access. Smack out Essen for Olivia tonight. Hit and play on Jonas Blue next. Uh, big news in the world of Jonas Blue today. He says he has stopped being a recluse on tour. And make sure he gets out of his hotel room you know, to explore every place he visits. Now, that's what he said. Surely that is the main perk of touring the world. Well, like, who gets it. that opportunity in life and goes, no, I think I'll just stick to my travel lodge, actually. I mean, my sister does actually say that. She'd quite happily go on holiday and just sit in the travel lodge all the time. She's weird, so let's not go there. 
I just don't think Jonas Blue deserves it all the world. I think right. we should trade places. If you can hear me. He can still do his DJ thing. This is I'll the comedy carpet. See the world. He's, um, never seen this before. Definitely one of the things you should come and see if uh, you come here. Basically, it's full of oak, iconic um, sayings from the comedy days, stretching from the early comedy days. Uh, I can't find my favourite one. It says, Nice to see you, to see you nice over there, uh, which you can see directly from. The Skywalk. Yeah. Oh, a few hot dog stalls. Right, off we go again. <laughs> nice little pit stop. Theo didn't eat all my biscuits. Now the challenge is to get from here back on to the main track again. Oh, there's a gap. We're going to go for it. There we go. Easy as that. We're not crash into someone. <sighs> All right, uh, we carry on our voyage. About halfway now. It's easy bit now, it's flat. The only difficult part is one, how busy it is, because at the end of the day, it's still a normal business for Blackpool with tourists. So there's quite a lot of people around with it still being a um, school holidays. But also you've got the um, traffic lights. There's about three sets down here. Which you have to, you have to have stop for. These are nice. Sutty is quite famous for Blackpool. History of the North Pier. Sorry, I got an itchy nose. Oh, one hand steering at the minute. Oh, I just hit the curb again. <laughs> I keep forgetting how close I can go to the side. Alright. Really spotted much here lately. Party hats. Earthly <laughs> party hats or unicorns. <laughs> He's wearing his lucky unicorn. There's a few more behind me. That's what I mean. The traffic lights. Ugh. Oh, here's something coming the other way. Oh, nice. It's a light up shirt, my bossy scooter. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get through these lights without having to stop, shall we? We've got a lot of width. Yeah. It's a bit of central pier. See the uh, wheel lit behind. It's a shame they're not made maximization of that wheel and the LED strips that they've got on it, to be quite honest with you. They could make that absolutely incredible. <laughs> Some shop mobility. I've seen a lot of these, obviously, we're doing the same. We did spot one with a dog in it. There's the wheel again. Half of it does go into that uh, amazingness and the other bit's white. It's a shame really. Now normally I'm quite good at looking for things in advance. I didn't check to see if the Pleasure Beach was going to be open to go through. It was last year and the year before. It is one of the most incredible experiences you'll do at the Pleasure Beach, riding through at night. And I really hope it's on. It's all lit. 
by the, uh, the skies there. And it's cloudy, you can tell where the Pleasure Beach is because the cloud lights up. It's a weird noise. Right. Also making good time. It's just gone nine o'clock. To say we started an hour and 45 minutes ago. We could technically do this in two hours with all the socks, but obviously I'm not rushing. These are nice, make good use of these. I'm liking the, uh, the strips that they've used on these as well. It could be the future of the illumination lights. Very well presented. Oh, we're getting a bit close. Oh. Look at that. I apologise if I'm all over the place. It's not easy riding a bike and having a uh, camera stick. Lovely. He seems to be uh, enjoying it. <laughs> From behind. Molly, he's got a little flag. And the wind is definitely going this way because when we're going the other way, the, the, the flag was flapping, flapping. Oh. So, yeah, having a workout here. There's a zebra crossing coming up. Well, the tram's made it all the way down, done its loop, and it's back again. Charlie Corley. Get a little trauma. I've not seen many of a unique ones at the minute. I've, I've seen the dodging. There's two of them. But I saw them when I was going the other way. So I don't know where they've gone. Crazy one. They're unicycling as well. So we're what time are we on? Almost two hours in. And that does include the stops that we've done. Which wasn't many. South Pier. Crazy coast at the other side. Look flew at the front. And if you're watching this and you're not familiar to my channel, we vlog these sort of things. So we've done Central Pier twice, one quite recent, and South Pier was done a little while ago. Uh, but we're going to do that again soon, because we didn't do the waltzes with Theo. Oh, he's having a mare. Didn't do the waltzes with Theo, and i um, still got to judge which waltzes are faster. And we need to go on that as well. That seems tall enough. Yes, Theo. I knew he'd spot that. He loves, he loves them sort of things, and uh, he can, he's asking what. 
Who wants to watch a log flume? Right, we're now close to the pleasure beach now, so hopefully we can cycle through, but I'll come back to you in a minute. So we're just closing up towards the pleasure beach now. Not promising. I don't see anyone cycling in. Go check out. Nah, it doesn't look like they're going to be doing it. Just cycle into it. A lot of people know they do this normally. The gates are currently closed. It looks like it's not happening this year because the other gates are closed inside as well. What a shame. Really good experience. It's an absolute shame they didn't do it again. Never mind. Anyway, we'll carry on down the promenade. Well, what a shame about that. Um, nevertheless, you know, it still looks so good in the night from out here. It's just a shame we couldn't go through because last year everything was lit. The river caves, when the bowler drone was there, that was lit. Big Dipper was lit. Icon had just opened that year, that was lit. Obviously the big one was lit. And you went through Nickelodeon land, which was all lit as well. And then he came out um, with the other side. Well, never mind. There was a lot of people hovering uh, under the illusion it was opening, uh, but no one stood there, and the inner gate's not even open, so it's a shame. But never mind. There they are. Dodgems. Just as I was getting some nice photo and video footage of the uh, big one, I just spotted the dodgems go the other way. I got the back end, I wasn't paying attention because I was trying to get that. <sighs> Still, there we go. Here's the Boulevard Hotel. The restaurant is in fully operational, so is the hotel. However, it comes at a price. But look at that. They've even made use of um, the buildings down there, which was old coasters. Um, it's amazing, it puts Big Blue to shame. Big Blue was amazing when it first popped up. Uh, but there's the exit. You can see no sign of that coming alive at all. So yeah. Close to the end now, we have been going for just over two hours. Not the vlog obviously. Oh, feeling the tiredness now. <laughs> She knows again. Oh, no hands. <laughs> Are people trying to get in this? Notice what I'm doing. Some of them are not getting in the shot though when they do it. They're still eating my biscuits. Another one of the latest hotels that popped up a, a year ago. Hilton. Oh, 
no, another red light. Another red light anyway. That's something I need to do next year. Light it up, especially with the uh, trailer. He ain't going to be fitting in the trailer next year. We're going to uh, get him to hopefully... Um, in his own bike. That is undoubtedly one of the best things Blackpool has. The giant disco ball. And do you know what? Not a lot of people know it's there. It's been there for, wow. 15 years at least, obviously. It might be longer. But when the light shows on for it, it's incredible. And if you go, go towards the end of the day when the sun's setting. You get a mini disco on the floor from the sun. It's incredible. Yeah, incredible. I think the new promenade is is about 20 years old now. So I think the disco ball might be 20 years old. Coming to the ends now. So we head towards Stargate. This is um, an existing illumination, but taken by Northern Rail what they called the Northern Lights. I like how they made each section unique to its own show. Well, it was anyway until them three started doing the same thing. I'm still doing it now. Well, the tram station marks the end of the road for us. We have done the full loop from Stargate, which is what we're coming to now, or Squiresgate, to Bispam. We even did the Bispam loop, which I was trying to avoid, but <laughs> oh, no, never mind. I um, hope oh, you've enjoyed this. It's taken us just over two hours to do this. Obviously, the vlog isn't going to be as long as that. Uh, but it will be quite a long vlog. Hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you watch the whole lot, then well done to you. Also, if you saw yourself, oh my god, just hit the cone. <laughs> that might be why it's supposed to go around. Uh, yeah, if you watch the whole vlog, oh sorry, if you saw yourself on the vlog, then. Uh, Hello. A lot of people waving in the vlog. Also let me know if you see yourself. Uh, but that comes to the end here. We're coming to the end where the road ends. Right, that's it. That's that done. What a journey that was. And my legs are so achy. They're going to be aching tomorrow. Uh, but like I said, thank you very much if you've watched this. And well done if you've watched the whole vlog, because I understand it's going to be a long one. Um, you're tired. You've not done anything. <laughs> oh, no, it's a great experience. Probably one of the best free things you'll ever do in Blackpool. And maybe one of the best free things you'll do in all time to be fair obviously disappointed Pleasure Beach didn't open their gates this year um, for whatever reason that is I'm sure there's a good reason for it um, but yeah uh, very electric if you're watching this and you've not done it before do it in 2020 it's incredible I'd like to hope it's back in 2020 I would imagine it is um, and you don't necessarily need a bike so you can do it in a scooter and people are doing all sorts of things uh, just if you have got young kids just be careful with them because there is a few rowdy people uh, especially teens and youth uh, that are deciding to pull wheelies and silly little things and going a little bit too fast i didn't see anyone get crashed into which is great uh, but it does happen a lot um we're just lucky we didn't see it hopefully nothing's happened but 
can be quite hectic. Uh, anyway, if you're not subscribed or you're watching this for the first time and, and intrigued by the video, um, do subscribe. There's a lot of other things that we do. We do do a lot of UK attractions. Obviously, do a few things like this if we get the opportunity to. Uh, with myself and Theo as well. Um, let us know what you thought of the vlog, whether you enjoyed it, and put a comment. Um, and uh, let, let us know your comments basically. Uh, I've really enjoyed this. I'm absolutely zonked out, and if it's back next year, I'll be 100% doing it again next year and hopefully doing this as well. <sighs> you okay? Did you enjoy it? Yeah? Do, have you got a favourite part of it? Yeah, what? What was your favourite bit? Mm. You don't know, do you? <laughs> uh, like I said, we are going to do... Bike. Riding the bike. So your favourite bit was riding the bike? I don't know what that means. Uh, we are going to be back again uh, later this year to do an Illuminations Blackpool vlog give you an insight of what the Blackpool Illuminations have to offer. Obviously you've just basically seen that, uh, but we're going to do a more in-depth one to show you exactly what it is. And then later in the year again, maybe about October time, we're going to do a family vlog of all three of us, including Megan, um, to, do, to, to do it as well as a family. I don't ever drive the Illuminations, it's crazy mad. And I, I can't deal with traffic, it'd send me west. Anyway, from today's vlog from myself, and Theo, bye bye, we will say, <laughs> he always says bye bye, bum bum. We'll see you in another video. Take care, see you later.